Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 10th. Our readings today are taken from 1 Samuel chapter 23, Isaiah 66 and Matthew chapter 11. And our thought is, you who tremble at his word. Today we completed reading Isaiah and it has a final challenging message for us to hear the word of the Lord. You who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you and cast you out for my name's sake have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. But it is they who shall be put to shame. Is it clear what this is teaching us? Why will they be put to shame by the Lord? It is because they do not tremble at his word. There is an uproar. The next verse tells us, It is the sound of the uproar from the city, a sound from the temple, the sound of the Lord, rending recompense to his enemies. This recompense or punishment is given in more detail in verses 15 and 16. For, behold, the Lord will come in fire, and his chariots like the whirlwind, to render his anger in fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire will the Lord enter into his judgment with all flesh, and those slain by the Lord shall be many. How soon will this be? Later this month in Matthew, we will first read parables of warning, and then Christ's fairly explicit words in chapter 24, For as they were in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until a day when Noah entered in the ark, and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Verses 37 and verse 29. Our world is totally unaware. They have given up on expectations about the future. They are living for the day, the month, and at most the year. May we so live that we are not swept away when the Lord enters into judgment with all flesh. May we be among those who tremble at his word, and so be among those who experience, as we read in Isaiah, the new heavens and the new earth that I make, says the Lord, when all flesh, then alive, shall come to worship before me. Verses 22 and 23. Finally, how encouraging and reassuring are the words of Jesus at the end of today's 11th chapter in Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and learn from me, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the result when we genuinely tremble at his word. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm